Yo, what is up guys and welcome to this video. In this video, we're actually going to code the, and create the actual scene. This is your favorite YouTuber and the modern day philosopher. And welcome to this video. Let's just get it started. Am I even? Yo, what is up guys? I noticed some of you watch these videos and you don't subscribe. Please subscribe right now. I will not upload more videos before you guys subscribe. Recording. I should be recording. I am absolutely recording. So let's do this. Okay, last time we actually set up everything in the HTML. I want you to have a browser ready for me and just right click on this index.html and open with live server. Remember that we installed this, uh, what is it called? We installed this extension uh, called live server. So please download that uh, from Ritwick Day. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, if we are, if we want to be able to like actually display anything, uh, then we actually have to have a scene, a camera, and something that renders the scene camera, the scene and the camera, uh, the scene with the camera, right? So let's create our very first scene. Um, <laughs> let's do this. A const scene. This will be our scene, and we will generate a new free. What what is big free dot scene? And apparently that is with a capital S. Okay, so this is our scene. Let's just comment out the code so we don't get confused. Scene. Then we want to have our camera because we want to see something, right? So how far away should the camera be from the from the I don't know from the point I don't know uh, in space? How far away should the camera be, and how close should it be? What should be the point of view? let's let's write the code so const camera we'll call this camera and we will set and we will generate a new free dot cam sorry this is going to be a perspective camera i don't know what it what the difference are between the cameras but apparently you can you can do some funny things with uh, with the cameras so new free perspective camera then we want to set some parameters um, FreeJS actually actually allows us uh, to set some para pa parameters uh, with the perspective camera. So the first one is going to be our field of view. Let's just set that to 75. Then we want to like center it in the middle. So let's just say window dot inner health, uh, sorry, uh, inner, inner width divided by window window dot in a height there we go and uh, how far away should be is 0 0.1 um i don't i don't even know what that is um sorry just kidding uh aspect ratio aspect ratio yeah that's the aspect ratio i said it's a 1000 what does it do so apparently that is uh oh so that we are setting the size here and uh what does 1000 mean I guess it's just just how far away uh, the camera is. So that is our camera. There we go. Capital C. Uh, and then we want to render this. Okay, so let's see uh, what pops up for now. Let's see what pops up. Uh, nothing pops up. And that is because we're not rendering anything. Um, so let's go and do that real quick. We'll say const renderer equals new free dot web gl uh, web gl renderer. And guys, I'm not using the FreeJS, uh, what is it called, the package or whatever, which already has all the all the keywords included, so you don't have to type it in manually, uh, because you actually learn a lot by just doing it uh, this way. Here we have the renderer that actually renders uh, the scene with the camera. And what else? Now we want to we, we want to render the the set size. Um, so let's do that. And actually, we don't even need this, guys. Please delete the, the canvas.c. Uh, Just delete this. We don't even need this. So we want to say this variable that we've just created here, render that set size with a capital S. Uh, Window.inner width 
divided by sorry comma window dot inner height and the last thing is that we, now we, we want to render what okay so we're actually rendering this but we're not actually selling it uh, where we want to like display it so just append this just add it to the document by typing in document which means uh, this document uh, the the html document dot body dot append child so this is pure javascript renderer which means this one dot dom element so let's see what happens here Nothing actually happens, but I do believe that we can inspect something. Oh, no, no, it's not a constructor. Okay, so that's actually good. Perspective camera. Please set this to a capital C. Renderer is not defined. Renderer, wait, in which line? Line six. That is good. We're learning something here. Renderer. Okay. So as you can see, we actually got something. <laughs> we got a scene. We actually created a scene. Just look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. If you guys want to like uh, check out your, you just have to refresh the site if it does anything weird. But yeah, please check uh, the, the free JS document for any spelling error. Um, I should fix my own by just uh, looking at the debug. Just right click and uh, inspect, go to console and it will usually type out uh, whatever you've created or whatever you have done wrong. In the next video, we actually want to make a cube or 3D object. So stay tuned for that.